Yes. All right, so we have begun. Um, welcome to the movie podcast. Uh, I've been joined by two lovely ladies, and, and they can introduce themselves. So I'm gonna leave the floor to them. I am Lex, and I have very many opinions. All right, all right. Oh, and I am Katja, and I have opinions also. I guess they make zero sense. Wow. She guesses, I guess. She She's guesses. a guesser. She's a guesser. I'll just listen to her. So, oh, we, yes. we are so steadfast in our opinions, obviously. Yeah. I have very many, and she guesses. <laughs> All right, and I'm the one that complains, apparently, because that's oh, the no, thing I, I actually complain. do. No, no, I'm, I'm the one that's going to be complaining, because that's, that's my role. <laughs> oh, good. That's my role. Then, uh, right. I've, I've been so. complaining about the whole Robocop thing before, so... Shut up! We have an actual topic we are talking about. Da, 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 da. The Expendables! Yes! The Expendables, and by association, action movies of the past. Exactly. We've all seen them. Uh, who's seen both of them? Just. Uh, yeah, everybody? Do I actually have to raise my hand? Like, hi! I didn't. Yes, yeah, we're in class. Yeah, alright. So, so basically, we have seen the two of them, and you've only seen. Cat has only seen one. one. Yeah. Okay, hold yeah. on. Yeah, no, no big deal. But we can we'll actually say, a bit more. Yeah, we, we actually can say you haven't really missed much. It is, a, it is another part, hold but... Up hold up now. She did miss something fabulous. Because Jean-Claude Van Damme is fabulous. <laughs> and his villain sunglasses were fabulous. Yeah, but never fine. mind. Onwards. Let's start. Somehow. Does anybody have any pressing concerns? <laughs> well, About concerns. Um, I'm, I'm actually... Not pressing anything. Don't, don't, don't press things that you shouldn't be pressing. I, I'm, <laughs> I'm, not pressing I, I'm not pressing anything. I okay. like Mickey Rourke. Can we just... Who liked it and why? I did. Oh, Why did you like it? Because there were yeah. so many superheroes. Well, okay, not superheroes, but we had all the badass guys, and it reminded me of um, Snatch and uh, that other one. How about that? Is, it, is that not just because Jason Statham's in it? Yes, and he's hot. Is that really it? No. Shiny-headed bald guy. Little bit, little bit. No, but the whole manly masculine thing, it reminds me of that. Have we missed manly masculine things? Have you missed that? Which we missed it. No, but, but, but if you think about it, you know, films these days, it's all, you know, slick and, and shiny. Oh, yes. I prefer and that. Now, admittedly, Sylvester Sloan's eyebrows are mainly, you know, um, drawn on. However, <laughs> he's not exactly metrosexual. Well, maybe a little bit. He Wasn't his mustache drawn on as well in his goatee? Well, I'm not quite sure. I know he's had more plastic surgery than Pam Anderson. Really? So the- Yes. It looks like it, at least. If, he even does, it it's like he, he's like, he took my eyeliner and just went one hair here and another there, and I'll just have a little swoosh. It's, yeah, it, it looked bad, didn't it? <laughs> he constantly looks surprised. His eyebrows are a disaster. Yeah. However, that is not the point here. The point is we I mean, in hardcore manly men sweat and true grit and all that bullshit. I, I was really jealous. Of what? Is fake moustache or is actual musculature? It's much because I have my own real moustache over here. I mean, I mean the muscles. I mean. But you don't even have fake musculature. <laughs> we should get you one of those Batman suits with the pecs and the thing. Oh, and don't, 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 you don't. Can order, you can order one off eBay. You can wear it on your clothes. <laughs> I might even do that. Are you I'm, that insecure? 
I won't be the first little bit surprised. To be but honest. I won't. I won't get the the Christian Bale Dark Knight costume. I will get the original one. What you mean the, the spandex? No, no, like like the the Batman Michael Keaton Batman. So. Oh, but that's not original Batman. Original Batman is Adam West Batman. So. Well, I, I was talking that. really about the first movie, but I'm trying okay. to save my dignity right now. <laughs> yeah. Okay, but back to the, expen- to the expendables. Yeah. Um, uh, so let's 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 recap. We have a group of mercenaries who are all manly, manly men. Yes, yeah, you know, tattoos sure. and moustaches and sweat and all that, okay. and motorcycles and big guns and things, and they go to you know to uh, a Latin American island. Yeah, they never mention which island with poser Fidel Castro, who's not actually I'm trying Fidel to Castro. keep this correct. I mean, they're going, they get an assignment to go to a Latin island to eliminate a corrupt military leader and a rogue CIA operative. So, and what happens, yeah, yeah. they get there, it's disaster on O Island, and there is a girl! Why is there no way? There is always a girl, there's a girl, and there's things, and she's like totally involved, and of course she's the princess of the island, right? More or less. No, no, she was the daughter of the military guy. You What's can... the difference? Uh, right? Well, military, king, princesses. He's a dictator. Dictators have absolute power. Well, you know, he pretends he has absolute power. Oh, okay. If she's a prince, okay, she can be a princess. All right. To keep she you happy. draws and she's, you know, sexy and Latin and amazing. Well, she's Latin. She's Latin. <laughs> <laughs> no offense. Well, we, we, we hope she is now. <laughs> yeah. But they never do actually mention what, what, what island it is. Of course they don't mention it, because it's mainly that it's like somewhere Latin American, something kind of dictatory. Let's pretend it's not Cuba. Yeah. Right? Pretty much that. Yeah, right? Yeah. Yeah. So they swoop in, they shoot everything, save the day, all that. There's you know, true love involved in, in, with, with uh, God, what's his name? Christmas. 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 Of course, Christmas. Oh, yeah. Me, Christmas, yeah. Christmas and Cordelia, who's not actually Cordelia, I can get her name. What's that called? Right. Yeah, those, yeah, you know, Buck is oh. Right, and, and, and you know, he's all mysterious, and she finds yes. someone else who's actually a dickhead, and of course, you know, Jason Statham, the Christmas, whatever, Manly Man saves the day! Yay! And we're all very right. happy and pleased. Yeah. Basically, it's a, it's a no-brainer, and, and, you know, we've, we've got Schwarzenegger showing up and doing his, his line. This one line to line thing. Exactly. Thingy. It's like, oh fuck, I'm not the governor. I I need a paycheck. What yeah, is it? Because my wife's a Kennedy. That that requires a certain style of living. <laughs> so what? yeah, that and um, Bruce also Willis? Bruce Willis appears. It, it's basically like, in the same part, but it's almost the same line. Yeah, you right. know, they're like the Pokemon. You're in the tall grass, and suddenly a Bruce Willis appears. I was waiting to see more of Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah, so were we all? Yeah, but he, he was still that. he was still doing his government thingy back then. Yeah, sort of kind. Of. But I will totally yeah. get back to that. We've, the thing is, you know, they sort of showed up. They they teased us with with Arnold, but yes. he wasn't actually in it, was he? No, no, no. no. It was just in the church, and he gave it was a cameo. To, yeah, yeah, it, it was, was a real cameo. Okay, yeah. You know, same thing with, with Fantastic Figures. And, of course, we've got the man with the chin. They all have chin. There, there are a few with a chin. <laughs> I know, but I'm... Uh, uh, God, what do they call him? Gunner, right? That, that's what oh, Dolph L- Lundgren, Gunner. Yes, Dolph fucking Lundgren, who has the manliest jaw in the universe of jaws, right? Yeah. Well, he was basically the perfect Punisher and the perfect He-Man. Oh, him! <laughs> oh, oh, now she gets... Oh, him! <laughs> okay, yeah, she has Google. <laughs> the Russian guy from Rocky. He was Russian yeah. guy from Rocky, indeed. Yeah. Only he's German, right? So, and now we all got stuck. Like, he was German. Do you right? know what put me off, though? Mickey Rourke not doing his whole Russian thing. No, but that's because you're stuck in Iron Man. Yes. Yeah. Well, he did have the same highlights. Yeah, yeah, yeah I think he, he literally came from that movie to this movie. Like, okay, I'll just keep this and I'll be fine. Well, it works for him, but um, what was I going to say? Well, I, I have no idea what you were going to say. Not yet. We're not that connected. Have you seen? Did you see him tattoo though? Was that not the worst fake tattoo ever? I mean, if your tattoo artist is going la 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 and looking up the sky, 
that, 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 that's not something you want to happen. You lose comfort, really, don't you? Oh, it's not like you can see it in the zoom back. No, but still. But still, indeed, that was terrifying. Yeah. But they are bad boys, so, you know. Yeah, true. Yeah, okay. yeah. A crooked tattoo is a sign of, of, of manliness. Yeah. yeah, like, oh, I'll misspell it, and nobody would know the difference. Like, whoopsie-daisy. Yes. My oh, little oh. ponies, I love you. Oh, crap. Okay. Also, another thing I really liked was... How awesome is Jet Li? <laughs> yes, he was adorable. How fantastic is he? I mean, it's like kicking things. But the whole thing with, with, I'm short, therefore I need more compensation because I have to travel further. <laughs> <laughs> like, yes, yes, you do. <laughs> Your little legs. Yes, it was so I cute. Legs. <laughs> oh, that was so true. It's I have like, to try you know, harder. And then the ambush, and then he's amazingly awesome, and then you're just sitting there going... Bitch! <laughs> you know, he does his whole martial arts thing and then he shoots stuff and I love it. Yes, I love it. I love that they took him for a, 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 a sort of a classic action flick even though he's more of a martial arts star. I really like that they, they incorporate that. Because I have he, yeah, I have words. Yeah. They are yeah. I actually found it disappointing that, that in the second one he only had like a short little bit and then he left. Okay, uh, are we are we moving on to the to part two of the? Experiment? No, 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 no. It's it basically the same thing, but. Well, yes, but no. Let, let's get to to one first. Uh, one cat, mostly, cat, yeah. Cat, cat, see, cat, see. Honey. Name something you like other than Jason Statham. Yeah, that's a bit difficult. I know. No, okay. Oh, Shiny come on. A beacon of joy. Well, what I didn't like, but that's just me. I mean, the whole action, all the action scenes. I don't mind action scenes mm -hmm. much. But some of them were a bit long-winded. But my favorite part, and this is why I like it, is the dialogue and the interaction between everyone. Because, like I said, it reminds me of Snatch and Lockstock and blah, 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 Two Smoking Gun. So basically you're, you're in it for the uh, comment. Yeah, I the, thought the that was... Stand. Yeah, and that made me sort of, um, how do you say, live through the action. Okay, I, I quite like the action because you know it, it, it's it's very classic. It, it, it's it's yeah, you know, in, in the style of, of, of old school things of, of old school. Well, not exactly Rocky, but you know. it did seem like they were sort of parodying those kind of films. Okay, parodying that is *Tropic Thunder*. Yeah, <laughs> okay, so I mean, of an homage. more of a yeah, yeah, homage. Yeah, like yeah. That. I, but, I mean, it was like I mean that you've got everyone in there. You know, of those kind of action -y heroes. Action sort of. movies, yeah, from back. Well, in the maybe day. not everyone, but you've got quite a lot of them, and yeah. it's sort of the typical love story and, and, and the typical action and then the typical bad guy, and the typical kick your ass thing and stuff. So it's not really a parody, but like you Which say, is, yeah, yeah, but that, that's what they went for, and I think they did it brilliantly. I mean, they weren't looking to make any, you know, deep philosophical statement. They were just going for fun times, you know, as we used to kick it. Yeah. Yeah, and try to get everybody back into movies. I but, don't know. But no, that that was the, uh, the, the also like a big point because uh, everybody helped each other out in game. No, it's like everybody trying to help each other into back into movies, like. Mickey Rourke trying trying to get his career back up and asking. Mickey Rourke's career is fine. He did the wrestler. He did Iron Man. He's he's doing all right. Yeah, but that that was for asking um 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 Sylvester Stallone for help and and they helped each other out. Like I'll do a cameo in your movie. You'll do do something for me. And that happened basically with everybody that did something in the movie. Okay, where did you get this information? Because I think, I mean, as far as I know, they just went, let's do something fun and old school. Yeah, and that, that, was, that, was the big, yeah that was the that was the big, the big uh, story about it. But it was yeah. basically like a, everybody trying to help each other out with their careers, to further their careers. Is this, this, is this you speculating? No. You read this somewhere? Yeah. Where? Online. The internet. <laughs> the internet. I mean. Oh my god! It is written down, therefore it must be true. No, I've, I've like my, I've like my, uh, have my serious sources. Okay. Oh, oh god. I, I've got deep, a little man deep, on the inside. Deep journalism. Deep journalism. We're getting into that. Okay. I've got, I've got a buck somewhere. <laughs> but so basically, what we've decided is it's it's fun for people who like action flicks. Okay, no, but it's good like to have something different, a bit more masculine, gritty, rough. 
and it doesn't take itself too seriously, which I enjoy. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. It, they don't try. It doesn't try too hard. They just have fun with this shit, and they just they kick back and do their thing, and they're good at it, and they know they're good at it. And I like that they. Don't, I mean, they're not trying to be something they can't. So you know, it works out very well for everybody. I think. Yeah, that's I think it, it was a great. It was great fun. I mean, obviously, Kat enjoyed it, even though she's not really into that. No, exactly. I mean, it, 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 it even got me into it. I do like classic action. I mean, God, Bloodsport was one of my favorites forever. I, I enjoyed you know, Rockies and, and Rambo's, and obviously, basically all the old action movies. Yes, all, the, all the typical nostalgia oh, action movies. Yes, and of course, you know, your you diehards, your, 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 your total recalls stuff, and you? whatever. Total recalls, did I actually say that? Yes, you did. Even, I mean, there, there is only one. <laughs> There's forever. only one, and that's the first one. Yes, we're not, we're not going to talk about the one. second one. There, there, is, is, there is only one total recall. I'm sorry, Colin, you are gorgeous. Do something clever with your life. Yeah. Like falls down some stairs or something. I don't care. <laughs> Anything else? Yeah, he still has to pay for the making that movie. Anyway, don't. no big deal. So basically, we've got a little bit of everything. Just you know, don't go into it looking for 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 for, for a big storyline. Don't don't yeah exactly. Yeah, but you know what's funny? Like, I already know that there's like a lot of people that's still going to going to be crying about yeah, but there's no story in it. There's a story. Yeah, but people always they do go that. In, like, they kick ass to save the day. The, the people are liberated. They go home. They have a little existentialism, and you know, true love prevails. No, no, and the, like, no. I mean, like, sometimes you hear people complain about, no, we we just want action, and you get this film with a lot of action, and then in, they start to complain about, yeah, but there's no real big story. There yeah, is a story, and it's everyone. simple. It, yeah, exactly. As Kat says, you can't please everyone. Also, you can't. Fucking idiot is looking for a big story when the whole plot is about a group of mercenaries kicking ass. Yeah. And being good at it, and that is basically what it boils down to. A group of dudes <laughs> whose only talent is destroying and killing. Yeah. What I mean, what 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 do you want them to do? Do you want them to adopt puppies? Well, should, should, should there be an animal shelter involved here? Well, I'd adopt Mickey. I'd adopt Mickey Rock as well, but you know you'd have to walk. Him. Well, you can have him, I'll have Jason Statham. Yes, but just Jason Statham, I don't want his pets. Oh, I do. You do? Yes. Really? Oh, I'd care for him. Yeah, you would care for him, but I don't think you have the fitness equipment he requires to be perfectly happy. Oh, it's okay. I'll also, I believe he out. requires an Olympic swimming pool, but I could be wrong. We do not own one of those. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> well, we all anyway. want the same people as pets, I guess. Hmm. <laughs> well, I'm not walking it Sylvester Stallone. It doesn't matter what movie we're discussing, what film, what series, what anything. We will find a guy we find delicious. Yeah. Every single we, day. Oh, well. We're not the most... One day, I will keep you this to this challenge. <laughs> okay. I will find a movie. <laughs> I can't... Good luck with that. I'll, I'll find one. Just give me, like, a few weeks or something. I'll make this my personal project. Okay. Yeah, hit me with no. Hit me with it next week. You can try it every week. It can be your new thing. <laughs> like a little s- subtle topic, like what can the girls find delicious in this movie? Exactly. You know, it's, just, it's a challenge. It can be our weekly challenge. Who's the hot guy in this film? That's good. <laughs> Please don't that make me choose. my fucking camera. It died again. Hello. Bugger. Bugger. <laughs> Sorry. Well, you're you're frozen in time. Oh, oh, does that mean I stop aging? That would be awesome. Yeah. <laughs> You'll be older than me in no time, Kat. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Wait, so that's not a yay moment, is it? Not really, no. Oh, oh, she will probably come back. So where did we leave off? Well, I don't know. We had technical difficulties, so I have to, I, we had to fix stuff. So uh, we were still talking about the Expendables, and we will continue on. We are always talking about the Expendables, aren't we? Mm. Well, because so who was for you the hot guy in the Expendables? Did, did we? Did you? Did you? Did it cut off during the whole uh, challenge thing? No, right? No, I cut it off when you actually disappeared. Oh, good. So our weekly challenge stands. You will challenge us to find hot men. <laughs> All right, I'll I'll, I'll 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 see what I can do, or at least you you guys. It's basically you see what we can do. You mean? 
<laughs> it's basically whatever topic okay. movie we have, both of you have to find one guy, but it is not supposed to be the same guy. No, oh, that's not that's not fair. Why not? Well, that's like the that's a challenge. Yeah, I mean, what if we like the same guy? No, no, no. The challenge is to find a hot guy. You never you never specified it had to be two. It was one. Yeah, like a guy. So you and it's a you challenge. It has hard. to be yeah, hard. I mean, no, 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 no. We find one, one, unos. Yes. <clears throat> yes. You heard. Also, it's fast in from Prada to Nada. Yeah, but if I if I. For instance, if I come with, I don't know, uh, the Pirates of the Caribbean. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, that's too easy because you will still have to. <laughs> no. Oh, this joke. If you think, honestly think that I think Orlando Bloom is hot, you are surely mistaken. Yeah, when no, when you're picking Brad, uh, Johnny Depp and she's going to pick Orlando Bloom. So no, I'm not. You're gonna... Why would I pick Orlando Bloom? We talk too much. Okay, so you're gonna pick the guy with the wooden Captain eye? Captain fucking Barbosa, motherfucker. <laughs> Did you see those nails? Oh my god, like a crack addict. It's delicious. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Well, back to manly muscles and stuff, I guess. Mm -hmm. I shouldn't be even yes, saying please. that. <laughs> the Expendables 2! I wish to see it. That's how good the movie, the first movie, was. It makes me want to see number two. Also, Thor's little brother's in it. Who's in it? Thor's little brother, uh, uh, some other Hemsworth, Miley Cyrus's boyfriend. Really? Oh man. Yes, he's in it. He's the, he's the cute kid. He's the young young sniper. Oh no, now I remember. Is it Evan? I'm not sure what his name is. Um, Liam Hemsworth. Uh, Liam, that was it. Was it Evan? Liam Hemsworth. Right. Yeah, Liam Hemsworth. Hemsworth in it. Billy the he's Kid. He's in it. And uh, the oh hello. <laughs> oh God. I, I, I believe Kat's found Google again. Yes. No, I found Ian. Mm. And we found religion. C can we stop yeah. drooling already? And the story here goes is that uh, uh, the, 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 they owe a favor to... Uh, Mr. Church. Blah, blah, blah. Church, yes. Yes, yes. Uh, or Bruce Willis. However. He's the one who... Um, Bruce Willis. Yeah, okay. They have to do something for him. So, you know, yeah. they, they, they go do that. Yeah, they have to get a, a suitcase uh, which has a location of... A plutonium mine or something like that. Yeah, Ooh, correctly. Yeah, some, something like that. Anyway, so, the, so they go off to do that. We, we start with action and, and things go boom and it's amazing and lovely and everybody's fabulous. And they rescue Arnold Schwarzenegger. Again. No, I mean as in again. Him again. <laughs> yeah, him again. He, he's, 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 again. He's in this again. And then ha stuff happens and... You know what he actually is sort of in it. Yeah, so, more, more so at the end. More at the end. They saved him for the for the for the end. But so he's basically in it uh, for a bit, and we'll go home, and everything's fabulous. And then Church or Bruce Willis appears, and he makes them go do this, and he, he hoists off this woman off them, uh, Maggie. They they go get this crashed airplane computer thing, which is also a bomb for some reason, yeah. and whatever. And they, they get it, blah, 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 things go wrong, obviously. Because, you know, because the evil villain guy shows up. The villain shows up and it's Jean-Claude von fucking damn, he's good. <laughs> sorry. I, I quite like him, I'm sorry. I just, I really like him. He's, he's, I'm just so pleased he's in it. He's, you're he actually such drooling. a good villain. Hmm? No, you're actually drooling about this. It, no. it, it is amazing. I'm not drooling. I just think he's a fantastic villain, and I had not thought he would be. I was pleasantly surprised. That's why I'm so happy. Well, he was a villain before in in one of the other movies, like a kickboxer movie. Yep. Yeah, uh, was he? Yep. Yeah. It's not the first time he was a villain. Fine. But he now he had organized people. <laughs> he had a gang or, or following or whatever. Yeah, no, yeah. He, was, he was. I thought he was fantastic in it, and he was threatening, and so bad things happen, right? Yeah. They kill the cute young guy because, of course, we can't kill any of the old guys because they need them because they are awesome. But yeah. There we go. So you know, vendetta. Time for vendetta, right? Yes. Yeah, and then they go. To, it's a line in a trailer, and then it's like, what do we do now? And it's like. Track them, find them, kill them, right? Exactly. Uh, Just right. simple. <laughs> so they go do that. And, and of course, they are awesome. 
and 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 then they fuck up and then Chuck Norris saves everybody. Ah, sorry, Chuck Norris. Yeah. Oh no, but but that's so spoiler. <laughs> he drop kicks everything in the face. He, Do they know that we spoiler. No, I don't care about spoilers. Oh, we we spoiler everything. It is hot. But the I'll, thing is. You know, they just, they basically, what they do is they, they continue what they started. It's, it's old school action and no deep plot line. It's like bad man, do bad thing, you know, hurt people, kill good guy. Oh, sad, 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 sad. Kill everybody, you know? It's awesome. Yeah, but the thing I actually also liked actually was uh, that they uh, did the uh, Chuck Norris lines. Oh god, yeah, what was it? La, 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 la. Yeah, I, I heard got, you got bit by a cobra or something. Yeah, and after five excruciating days of pain, the snake died. Yeah, but there were more lines like that in there. Like, uh, are there, aren't there there enough rainbows in the, in here already? Or uh, <laughs> watch out, you'll, you'll be terminated. And yeah, it's basically and all back. those bad movie lines, yeah. links, those or subtle hints. hints. Yeah, no, but, did they are not so oh. <laughs> yeah, but you you were waiting for them in the first movie, and there were not a no. lot of them in there. Well, I wasn't really waiting for them in the first one, and the second one. Admit, you're sadly. I mean, it was fun. I will admit this. I quite liked it. However, just this, this. Okay, it was this much cheesier than the first. Yeah. One. It was made of cheese, all semi cheese to go with my wine. But you know, let's you know, it, it's still the fun loving action is fantastic, everything is mwah, but the cheese is very strong in this one. Yeah. So if if and the thing is the, the sad thing is because it's so cheesy and because it does sort of, you know, look back at things that have been done, it can be a bit of a problem for people who don't know them. Because it, it, the lines themselves are not that clever unless you kind of know where they're from. But isn't that the fun part that you can sort of pick out those little? Yes, if you know them. Yeah, yes. if, if you know but them. But if yeah. you don't know them, it's a bit of a what? What, what is this Terminator thing that he's talking about? I don't know. Well, okay, everybody knows the Terminator. But doesn't that make the first one a bit more accessible for people? The first, the first one, one is yes, definitely yeah. a bit more accessible. Yeah. yeah. And that is definitely not helped by by the. the Chuck Norris and, and you know the, the, the Schwarzenegger's it, it's even a wonder that because the guy is still in the movie yeah I know but the thing is you know it, it's just it's mainly them two who are the cheese because the rest of them I mean they, they're sort of this group but but the two of them they're just there and they, they just sort of appear and sort of save the day or not yeah I mean I, I like the fact that they're in there but I believe that for for younger people it might be a, 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 a kind of a yeah, why it, it, it's it, happening it, it's more of just for just watch explosions and, and bullets fly and oh god yeah and we'll, we'll be fine <laughs> now of course they'll be fine it's a classic action film nobody dies I mean everybody dies but nobody more. except for Liam Hunter who wasn't really important other than the fact that he was adorable and, and <laughs> was going to quit this life and do something else and go make love to his friend's girlfriend. Yeah, they just should have given him the red Star Trek t-shirt and like, here, here you go. Go stand yeah. on that hill and wait. No, but you got to admit, did you expect him to die? Yep. Did you really? Yep. I mean, when it was happening, I mean, they sort of kind of let him go, sort of. But I could and still then, smell it because they had the reason to be pissed off. And then... Jean-Claude Van Damme kicks a fucking knife into his chest. How cool was that move? Did you just do that? What awesome. He's awesome. I like him. I'm sorry. I just, I, She's I, drooling I, again, is she? I'm not. <laughs> so we found the hot one in Expendables too. Well, yeah, Liam apparently. <laughs> well, Jean-Claude Van Damme. Jesus real. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Yes. All right, but what what are the things that you didn't like? Didn't I just say that there's a bit too much cheese? Yeah, the cameos the can be a little overdone. I have issues with Sylvester Stallone's eyebrows. Again. Uh, again. <laughs> uh, I, I missed Mickey Rourke. Yeah. I missed him. I uh, 
I thought the whole girlfriend on the phone thing might have been a bit inconvenient, you know, where you're in a gunfight. Uh, but they did that. I, I actually thought that was okay. I mean, a bit, a bit of cheese. You know, a bit more cheese. <laughs> they had a whole platter. And you, the, the whole, you know, they made fun of Schwarzenegger's big cars and things, you know, fine. But, you know, mm, and the, 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 the end was, was all right. They were all friendly and things. And Bruce Willis appears again to be cool. Actually, the other thing that actually bothered me was. Gunner. Why? Why was she all of a sudden so fucking smart? He wasn't. I mean, did he, you he miss was, that? He, he started from, the- from Harbor. He knows explosions and all that stuff. And in the first one, he was like, Duh. Uh, I didn't think he was that much smarter in this one. But in the first one, he was okay, having a psychotic really break. Okay, not really smarter, but... They- in the first one, he was having a psychotic break. I don't know if you noticed, but he went that shit. Really? <laughs> I haven't seen that. <laughs> I actually thought he was cool, like kick his ass. No, he was definitely cool, but he went a bit batshit, and that happens. Yeah. And I so. Yeah, but I, I I thought that they made him smart because he 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 was like a really scholar or whatever. He spent ten whatever. minutes going. <coughs> Lady notices me. Yeah, yeah, that that's true. I mean, but they made him sort of smarter, but he he dropped out of school to be a bouncer to impress this girl or something that actually happened to him in real life, I believe even. Mm, mm, mm. So, but I'm, I was like, hmm, the, the, like, why was that in the first one? Or they just changed his whole character around? They did not. They just expanded on him because he was actually, you know, part of the group for longer this time. Yeah. Well, they kicked Jet Li out really quickly. They actually, well, they literally dropped him out of an airplane. Like, bye. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they, it was like. But he did time. his cool martial arts scene. Yeah. No, yeah, that's true. Also, uh, black dude. Yeah. The, the, yeah. A certain guy in a certain bra. <laughs> oh God, that picture. Oh God, Kat showed me that. I just went, no. The funny thing is, so I watched the movie, and I find that suddenly on my Facebook timeline, I'm like. Yeah, from uh, Terry oh. Crews. I thought it was lovely. I mean, he was. Uh, he actually had a good part, and he in both movies he actually performed pretty well, actually. I thought, oh my God. even though he's not like a old Wait, actor. Wait, I'm sorry. Our milk, my milk is yogurt. Oh my God. What? Wait, let me show. I'm trying to have coffee. Can you see that? Oh my God. Would you like another one? Yes, please. Well, we should actually ask Kat what she would think about the second one but she's actually making coffee or or milking a cow to get milk or she's 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 going to apologize to me for poisoning me i apologize thank you i don't have that that's it (laughs) like oh i'm sorry i thought you needed butter here you go just keep stirring yeah. Life are hard, okay. Uh, I like my I, I like my coffee latte. Okay. okay. We are okay. not in a Starbucks, okay? Coffee Behave. latte, not just latte. No, not just latte milk. milk. That's the thing, you know. When you're in Italy and you see a machine and it says latte, don't press it because you will just get milk. Just, just, you know, very confusing. She sat there with a cup of hot milk. She did. She did. At eight in the morning. I know. She really I know. Needed we shared our espresso. We did. So then, eventually, she did have coffee latte. Like thing. Our morning routine does not involve hot milk and a cigarette. No. No. It's strong coffee. In fact, oh, not a gay man. Hey, I, I, no, I know. I know. Well, let's just explain that because otherwise you just you'll make. Comments like I told you guys this once, it was like I don't know, like a year ago, maybe two years ago, maybe even three years ago. I don't even remember. But I always thought it was so funny when Cat always says, "I'm going to have a fag outside," and I would always <laughs> look at her and I'll be like, "Yeah." Sometimes I'll have two. Where's my cream? Oh, would you like to? I'm, I'm totally lost oh. right now. Yeah, let's not talk about fags. We, I mean, we were discussing manly men. 
Yeah, okay, you'll talk about Manly Men and I'll have a fag. Then again, you know, we can still discuss Manly Men and fags, considering, you know, don't ask, don't tell them. Yeah, look, I'll have a fag right now. I mean... From you, it just sounds really, uh... Ambiguous. Just let me have my fag. Yes, well, I have them right here. No, 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 no. Seriously. Is it just me, darling, or do we smoke you? I don't, I wouldn't notice. I couldn't see because of throw my own smoke over here. <laughs> Let me get out of the way. But um, here's my question for Cap because she hasn't seen the second one. What would you expect if there is a third one? I haven't even seen the second one, so that's a silly question. Exactly. Let me. Let you me should ask, ask me what do I expect from the second one. Yes. What do you, after after what you heard? Oh God. <laughs> what do you expect? Cheers. Okay. What Cheers. you heard from us? I what do you expect from the second one? Then? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Go ahead. Okay. What? Okay. What do you expect from the second one then? More action. More cheese, obviously. Um, no, but seriously, because I watched the first one. I was gonna watch the second one, but it didn't work. Um. What would I expect? I just expect like the same kind of setup. So you know, go in there. Sit, they get a, a, an assignment. Go in, say day, find love, etc. I would expect the same kind of setup. Why do all the chicks fall for Sylvester Stallone with his fake eyebrows and drawn on moustache? They want to know who his plastic surgeon is. With the inside tips. Why are you always mentioning the wrong things, then? And I'm only thinking about his tattoos. No, but I mean, just go. For, I mean, this is that, that, um, that, this is my question. You have a group of men, most of which are reasonably attractive. Why him? He's not. I mean, he looks shrunken. Was, wasn't he the director of the movie in the in the uh, leading star? Mind, so okay. he gave himself a little. <laughs> that, that's actually a dead giveaway, isn't it? Well, he doesn't keep the girl, so it doesn't matter. He's just like, I'll, I'll take all the girls. Oh, he loses Sandra. He doesn't, he doesn't really keep her, does he? <laughs> he never gets she, to keep her. Nobody, I mean, she's not around in, when the second one starts. So. Was it now a lady in every city, something like that? I, I think so, but he, he kept the, the second one. Not really. Yeah, it's because they're, they're going to work together and whatever. He, he sent her off with her daddy. Oh. Handler, or whatever. Yeah, the church guy, the babysitter, I guess. All right. Uh, well, have we covered everything on our... On Do our... we recommend this film? Yes. First what? one? Definitely. For everybody. I would, yeah. For First everyone. one for everybody yeah. who likes action and, you know, sort of comedy sometimes. Yeah, and but I mean, also just for those who don't even like action, same what, you know, or not like, it's more of a... Okay, so we, so we we recommend the first one for good action, witty banter, you know, lovely leads and and all that. We, we like the story. It's pretty not, mental. You know, it's it's it's, it's yeah. easy to follow. It's it's fun times. Yeah. Eat your popcorn. You know. I was go. doing my nails while watching the movie, so I mean, that really is so wrong. <laughs> Why? I don't know. It was just sad. I just did my nails, watching these scandals, blow shit up everywhere. No, but I mean, that's, it just, it makes it easy to watch. You can't do that with, I don't know, something else. Like what? Well, I, I was, I was sitting, laying in my bed, cuddled with my blankets and stuff, so. Wait, um. Lonely. I'm so lonely. <laughs> I wasn't lonely, I had two cats. <laughs> <laughs> You're not making it any better. No, I mean, you know, life sucks, but it's okay. Which is licking it itself behind you. <laughs> there is no pornography in this topic. <laughs> now you have to flag it as inappropriate. And yes, not just because of our This anyway. is rated PG to 18 or something. <laughs> so, we oh are going God. to recommend the first Expendables. Second one, however. I mean, I do recommend it. I mean, it's fun. But the thing is that because of all the all the, all the references. All the references, they do sort of narrow their, their audience a bit. <laughs> well, I, I will still recommend it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'll, I'll definitely, definitely watch it, even though I And if they make the a part three, I will go see it. Definitely. I was just wonder what's going, what's going to be in there, because they still have, a, like, a really wide 
Oh, of cast of yeah, characters to still pick out on. Knowledge pool to choose from. There are action stars all over. There could have been more in them, only due to the fact that or they couldn't do it, or they had another movie, or they couldn't leave the country, like Wesley Snipes. Uh, all right. Why can't he leave the country? He uh, didn't pay his taxes, so he couldn't leave the country. Oh, sucks to be American. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so he he was he was actually scheduled to be in the second one, but well, do the tax problem he had. And, well, Chuck Norris is not going to be back for sure because he no. doesn't actually like violence for some reason and shooting guns. Does he oh. like born again Christian? I guess sort of. Uh, he, he he's actually against violence, so it's even a wonder that he's even in this movie. So. Or, Right. Well, you know, it doesn't matter. We've got Dolph, we've got Jason, we've got Terry, we've got, you know, the Stallone and everybody Yeah, but you want to see some new faces as well at some point. Name one. I just did. Wesley Snipes, for instance. Wesley Snipes. But, mm. That's you like a lost Brooklyn. action hero who hasn't done anything in a while. Well, he was in Brooklyn's Finest. That's not that old, is it? Okay, what what was his last good movie that you remember? I just thought this is a good film. Well, the last movie I thought he was still good in it was, I believe. Okay, and it wasn't really that good, but Blade Three. Who was he? Yeah, yeah. and after that, I uh, haven't seen anything with him in it that's actually good for me to watch. I think. There's Game of Death. There's Gallo Walker. I have, I have no idea what you're talking about at this point. <laughs> I'm googling. I, I know, I know. He had, he, he did other movies, but the last thing I actually liked from him was Blade, basically. Which was 2004. Yeah. Let's close this uh, topic. The Expendables, awesome bit of tease. Nothing really to dislike. I mean, it's not a movie which which provokes deep thought and emotion. It's, it's fun times for the whole family of age. <laughs> so, Bring your children to violence and terror and horror. Yes! Of, of, you know, of all people you know, kicking ass. Put hair on your chest. It's not that bad. No, it, it may not. Children can do fine. Blood and guts. Well, know, in the first movie, a guy someone. got shot, like, way in the middle, and like, in half, it, so... The water torture wasn't very kind, either. <laughs> no, that was creepy. Well, you know, that, that seemed annoying. Uh, yeah, it would be. Not, not the best way to spend the Sunday afternoon. So, All right. yeah, but we liked it. So if you like cheese and violence, go see the movie. Cheese and violence and big pectoral fucking girth. <laughs> pectoral girth. The Expendables for all your pectoral needs. <laughs> This, uh, yeah, so, uh, the, 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 what did I just, oh, ow, ow, that hurt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, you really just hurt yourself. Ah, ow, that, that injured, I injured you. Okay, okay, so we're done with these pentacles now, and what do we have? We have trailers! Yes, we have. Okay, well, where do we begin? Well, unfortunately, I will start, and I actually almost didn't want to do this for some reason but I'm actually still picking this trailer because I needed to do this so uh, you all have what do you watch it uh, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre 3d oh boy yeah okay. th that was my okay. uh, that's what basically okay. my Countdown thought to trailer three right. two one and I'll start up right now there we go oh it's restricted good well, it is the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Oh, hello. So, do you know anything about this place? Just the address. It's caged by frail and fragile bars. Wow. Restless by day and by night. Rants and rages. Look like Granny likes to play a little pool. What exactly did Granny do for a living? I have no idea. I just learned about her yesterday. The beast in me. God help. The beast in me. God, why is it so long? Oh, jeez. <laughs> Oh, that is it. Oh, 
I hope he still does it. Oh. Yeah. You know, perfect hiding place. Well, you know, at least she's where she's supposed to be. <laughs> oh, good. Yeah, and then up. they can shovel dirt on her and she can be very good. Like, whoopty fucking. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, God. So, are they trying to entice us to watch the movie or to not watch it? Well, that that is the question. Oh, wait, you're the one that likes horrors, aren't you? All right, so that was the Chainsaw's Massacre thingy in 3D. I don't know if I like the whole 3D thing, because I actually hate and hate. I just there's pure hatred for 3D. I don't know what you guys think about the lovely 3D in whatever yeah, movie. Yeah, it is. But uh, for some things, I mean, you know. Well, basically, if they take away the 3D and just just made another like part whatever from the remix then I'll, I'll be fine with it but this is just a marketing scam again because everything's 3D like yeah well um, we have uh, Friday the 13th I don't even know if that's 3D uh, we had Freddy Krueger thing that was in 3D and now we have this they did guy. Titanic as well in 3D um, I, I'm actually thinking I'm gonna, still gonna watch the movie I don't, don't know what's gonna happen I like the l last one because that was a origins story of how he was born and all that stuff so and the one before that was basically it was sort of the end because he got his arm cut off at the end so Sad. I'm, I'm, I'm wondering how and why do I, I I like the character and the actor that played um, Leatherface because there was like an old actor I don't even know his name anymore but uh we we yeah. shall see what's gonna happen. Okay. Or not. Or or not. In my case, not. <laughs> no. So. I am not watching that alone. <laughs> well, you know the thing is, it, the, the the problem with horror is it either bores me to pieces, or it just you God ends up in us throwing up. Dread turned us off horror forever. Yeah. It was just oh God. Well, Before well, that, I could watch horrors, but after that one, it just... That's the thing, you know, it used to make me giggle, and then I went dread, and it ruined everything for me. Yeah. See, judging from the trailer, it's, you know, the typical horror. If you like horror, go see it. But, I mean, as, as a horror, because you're, you're quite a horror fanatic, does it entice you to watch it? Yeah. To just to see what they did now. Well, then they did. They did. Does the story ever change? Because they've got, like... A gazette one, not and they've got a few versions, haven't they? No, no, it, it's like basically, the, the, it's like a typical uh, teens get lost uh, somewhere, or, baby, ah, or right, get right. their car broken down, or they, or they find the house, and they find Leatherface, and <laughs> they, they don't really dig deep, do they? Yeah, well, storyline. Well, some horror movies are really simple, and they're still good. I mean, I've mm. seen all of them, and the first Texas Chainsaw Massacre was brilliant. It wasn't even that gory, but it was um, psychological. Scary. Yeah. Like the, it really fucked up your mind, yeah. basically. No, and that was good. Psycho, psychological horror is 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 the worst. Yeah. Yeah, because I mean, the, the or the most successful, however you want to see it, probably most successful. Yeah, ba basically all the old uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacres were almost like that. They have some, some of them have more gore in it, but okay. it was so still psychological. So, are you excited really about good. this, or you're excited about this? Generally, we there is a type. Yeah, I'll, I'll actually. <laughs> Moving on, I'll away force from you to horror. watch it. Away from horror, next trailer, <laughs> because 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 we got we're we're, we're heading. Towards uh, happy, happy, fun, fun. Happy, happy, fun time. So, shall yeah. we? Okay, Kat, what did you uh, bring for us? I chose Wreck It Ralph. Really? Because it looks cute. <clears throat> all right, right, all right. Fun you want to add something? For the whole family this time, yeah. actually. So <clears throat> shall we? All right, I'll start it in. Yeah, now. 
Yeah. Appropriate audiences. See, that's something that. Oh, this. <laughs> Wreck-It Ralph. After 30 years of been doing this, it starts to feel hard to love your job when no one else seems to like you for doing it. Sure must be nice being the good guy. Nice share, Ralph. As fellow bad guys, we've all felt what you're feeling. I'm Zangief, I'm bad guy. I'm Zangief, Ralph. You are bad guy. But this does not mean you're bad guy. Zombie, bad guy. Hi, zombie. Hi, zombie. <laughs> Zangief saying, labels not make you happy. Good. Bad. <laughs> you must love you. I don't want to be the bad guy anymore. Oh, big pop up. Ralph. Abandoned his game. Where's the rifle guy? Welcome to Game Central Station. Trains for all game destinations now boarding. Everything changes now. Where's Ralph? Stand by, my Cubernetes is a little rusty. Ralph's gone to hero's duty? Get out of this game, buddy! Ralph, you're game jumping? What's your name? Frick it, Ralph. Why are your hands so freakishly big? I don't know. Why are you so freakishly annoying? All right, ladies, the kitten whispers and tickle fights stop now. When did video games become so violent and scary? Are you a hobo? Listen, I try to be nice. I try to be nice. You're mimicking You're mimicking me. me. That is rude. And this conversation is over. Alright. Cute, right? Is yeah. that not cute? That's cute, right? Oh yeah. I'll 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 watch that. <laughs> no, that's why I thought you guys might enjoy that one because I mean it has all the whole video game thing in the jig. Yeah. I mean, it's something I can relate to, uh, definitely, so... Just because you're a bad guy does not mean you're a bad, bad guy. guy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you're so freakishly huge. I'm sorry, I'm excited for it. I think it will be fun and funny and, you know, just... The whole Alcoholics Anonymous, but then for bad guys? <laughs> yeah. Genius. That was just awesome. Happy days! Yep. You know, we uh, are looking forward to this. Indeed, Definitely. that is, and I am with us. Yes. Nice. So, for our last little trailer thing. What did you pick, Lex? <laughs> I picked Rise of the Guardians. All right. And, uh, it's, uh, I, I'm excited about it because it, it, it's, it's a bit of a spin on your traditional holiday archetypes. All right. All right, we'll wait for your countdown because you seem to be Three, good at it. Two, one, kick it! <laughs> we go by many names and take many forms. We bring wonder and hope. We bring joy and dreams. We are the Sandman and the Tooth Fairy. We are the Easter Bunny and Santa. And our powers are greater. Than you ever imagined. It is our job to protect the children of the world. For as long as they believe in us, we will guard them with our lives. That 
victory is over. It's time for fear to rule the world. We have never faced a greater threat. And so we will fight. You don't want to race a rabbit, mate. My army's ready. <laughs> Everyone to the sleigh. Buckle up. We're the bloody seatbelts. Ha! That was just expression. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. Everyone loves the sleigh. DreamWorks, Rise of the Guardians. That looks cute as well. Does it not? But more family. But does it not look adorable? Yes. Well, th there has been another trailer released uh, where we meet another one of the heroes who's Jack Frost. All right. I think he's, he's pretty much, you know, he has something inside him they need. I expect a lot of it from it because it, 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 first of all the voice actors are amazing and uh, some DreamWorks like, DreamWorks is generally good we've got you know, Alan Baldwin Jude Law and, and, and uh, God I think it was um, Christ Almighty Wolverine what was he I forgot his name oh my <laughs> god that's horrible I'm actually going to let you suffer. Hugh Jackman. Hugh Jackman. Ah, don't that give it to her. I wanted to see her suffer a little bit longer. I think he does. <laughs> the bunny. <laughs> what? I'm not. I think so. I could be wrong. I wanted to root for the bunny, but now, no. If it's Wolverine, no. Hugh Jackman I'll, does just eat. Does Easter Bunnyman. Yes. Easter yes. Bunnyman. Hugh Jackman does the bunny. So there we go. Christopher Pine. Who I adore because he's Captain Kirk. Uh, he uh, he does Jack Frost. It looks beautiful, and I love Santa. I, I love that they sort of grabbed all of the the, 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 the types of Santa, not just you know Coca Cola Santa Claus. If you think about it, Saint Nicholas is is sort of a, 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 the myth and the thing, and it, it's kind of a little bit of of of, of, of uh, Scandinavian, a bit of Russian, a bit of everything. The Christmas tree thing, I believe, is Norse mythology. Yeah, sort of kind. Yeah. So. I like that they did that and that he's not, you know, full, full of jelly and all that and that only that. It's cool and it's pretty and it's awesome and they took our favourites and they made them heroes again. We're losing the grip on, on, on our traditional old school magic, right? You know, yeah. Yeah. Blah, 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 blah. because you, we've got the Harry Potters and all that. But this is classic childhood stuff and yeah. I'm, 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 I'm glad to see it come back. Yeah, so. just back to the whole root of our childhood. It looks like something you've watched during Christmas or something. It does, doesn't it? All family huddled up. Yeah. I actually believe it's coming out somewhere near Christmas. Yeah, it has to because it is one of those... Mm. It's a, it, it, it has December a real Christmas year. moment. Uh, yeah, November. November, well, yeah. close but enough. 28th of November, so that's the beginning of December, so that's perfect for, for family out. Yeah, right? Really? I think it will do well as well, so... Yeah. Yeah. Also, it has a really wide audience, too, from, just like Wreck-It Ralph, which also probably has a wide audience. Yeah, but Wreck-It Ralph is also, I believe, more teen and up. Yeah, it's true. Sure, kids would enjoy it, but exactly. I mean, you have to understand some of the, sort of, maybe the inside joke. It's really subtle references. First person shooters and funny Japanese yes. colorful games and all that. So I think it will be quite accessible, Wreck-It yeah. Ralph. Oh, it is. But just like this is more accessible, I think. Also, can I think you it's... tell we really like anime? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so on that note, I'm gonna leave you alone because I actually have stuff to do, I guess. Okay. I need one my Minecraft. Okay, leave me alone. It's one in the morning. Lunchtime's going out for Minecraft. Okay. Until five, probably. Oh, of course. Building my blocks. Pressing matters. Obviously, Minecraft is, is, is quite important. It's real addictive. I, ne I need my blocks. Thanks for watching and until next week. Oh my God. Are we done? No, I'm still recording. Haha, -ha, jokes on you.